everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I'm Casey and this is Priscilla. She's so cute. Okay, so on my channel I love talking about ways that you can lessen your carbon footprint. So low waste, zero waste options, um, being plant-based, being a mother, homeschooling, and I love talking about composting. Composting is my new fashion, I love it, but there are some huge major mistakes that people tend to make. your compost to really thrive. Kitty, what are you doing? So the first thing that most people tend to put in their compost that they don't realize that they shouldn't put in their compost is meat products. That is all of your sushi, all of your fish, all of your pork, all your beef, all your different types of meat should not go into your compost pile because it usually makes your compost pile smell super bad, but it also takes that smell and puts it in the air and then you have the raccoons and then you have mice and then you have all the other little varmints and everything coming and digging in your compost pile. I would not like to go to my compost pile, try to throw some stuff in there or stir it and find like a massive raccoon. I would probably scream. So please don't put meat in your compost pile because you might go out there and meet a raccoon. The second thing that most people tend to put in their compost pile that shouldn't is all your dairy products. So all the creams, all the cream cheese, the sour cream, the milk, all of that. Even though it is biodegradable, it's not okay to put in your compost pile because again, it makes it smell super bad. Makes it smell like rotten milk. And who likes the smell of rotten milk? <laughs> not I. The third thing that most people tend to put in their compost pile that they don't realize that they're doing it wrong is your magazines, um, the paper that is coated with anything. Some of the cardboard boxes that we get, um, they tend to have like a little film of like plastic on the cardboard box itself. And I never realized it had that on there until I started ripping it up in tiny pieces and then I I saw these like little plastic pieces and I was like, oh no. So I had to go through and I had to pick all that out. So if you are not 100% sure if that cardboard can be composted, you can always look on the back and it will tell you if it's coated or if it's not coated. So be very careful about what type of paper you put in your compost because you don't want plastic and other things to end up in your compost that you don't want in your compost. And like you go and you stir it and then you see all this stuff that's not composting. Then you got to go through and you got to pick all that out. The fourth thing that most people tend to put in their compost and they don't realize that they can't compost it is like all your baked goods. So like the muffins, the cakes, the donuts, the stuff like that that's all baked cannot go in your compost because it doesn't break down right. And it also brings all the pest and all the varmints and everything to your compost as well. I do know that you can do um, staley old bread, like your sandwich bread. So like the whole wheats, the white bread, whatever type of bread that you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with, that bread's okay. I've never had a problem with it composting it. Sometimes I just throw it out for the birds. The fifth thing that uh, usually ends up in a compost pile that really shouldn't because it will get all mixed in and then it will start killing your garden. So any plants that you have that have been diseased with something, have been taken over by some type of bug or parasite, or if it died other than you not watering it or putting it in the right pot or overwatering it, if it only died of those, those are okay to put in your compost pile. But if it died because it got sick, don't put that in your compost pile because whatever it got sick with will go into your compost pile. And then when it turns into dirt, it will take that disease and when you move that dirt from the compost pile into the garden, it will take that disease with it. And then it'll start infecting your garden. And boop, there goes your whole garden. And nobody wants that because gardens take a long time to grow 
and to put together. I hope these five tips have been great for you. I know they were great for me when I started my compost pile. And if you have any more questions or if you know more things that shouldn't be composted, comment them down below and we'll make another video and add another list and do more. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like and if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me grow. It really helps push my videos. And I will see you guys later.